Welcome back to a special edition of The Sauce. If there was a Mount Rushmore fuse, odds are these faces, you would see them on them. Patrick, Pete, Andy, and Joe, otherwise known as Fallout Boy. Great to have you guys here. Glad we did. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, Pete was here last week. Where is this Mount Rushmore of fuse you're talking about? <laughs> it's uh, just over 8th Avenue, right, right on the other side of Madison Square Garden, mm. right over there. I hear there's Watch gold out. inside. I don't want the terrorists to get it. <laughs> Let's talk about the tour. You guys are uh, kicking off the tour next month. <laughs> Did I just get in trouble for that? No, nah, you're good, man. You'll never get in trouble. It's all right. You guys are kicking off a tour called the Young Wild Things Tour with Gym Class Heroes and Plain White Tees. How does it feel to be going out? It's great. I mean, it's, it's awesome to be... It's, it's one of the things that every time we put together a tour, it's cool to be able to put together a tour that's all our friends. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that's the thing is that, you know... I mean, gym class are obviously our buddies, and uh, Damar from Plain White Tees, I've known that kid since I was like 14. Yeah, it's gonna be like yeah. meatballs, but on tour. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, is it good to see your friends, like Plain White Tees have a huge hit this year, is it good to see them kind of just blow up and, you know, dream Gym come class true? heroes won a, won a VMA, that was like one of the biggest things. For me, just you know, as a, as a friend who watched them come up, and, but yeah, we don't we don't really care. <laughs> we don't really care about that. No, <laughs> just, <laughs> he got a more drone for what he said than I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, how is this tour going to be different from from previous tours? Uh, it's going to be less about explosions and more about a uh, a nice ambient look. Okay. Yeah. A little no, we're kind of designing a set that has some depth to it, mm -hmm. and it's um, in general. I mean, I don't know if anyone who's who's read the book or whatever. Right. Um, there's, there's going to be, we're, we're going to pay homage to that, and, and yeah, you'll see a lot of the Sendek art, or our take it's on it. Like Rob Do, our friend Rob Doby's take on it. Hey, cool. cool. It's, it's not really like a well-known book. Right, but, you the, know, the book we're talking like, about you is know, where, where the, the wild, wild things are. Things are. are. I know knowns are heard. That was actually my favorite kid's book. Everybody's <laughs> know, right? probably heard of it. You know, <laughs> what inspired you to do it like that? Uh, when I was little, I wanted to be Max really badly. Right. Like, they were like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I was like, Max, and they are like, that's another little kid. You can't, no, you have to pick somebody else. I don't know, so... It's kind of that mixed with just how funny we think it is um, with people, you know, all these girls wearing, like, alcohol monitoring bracelets. Right. And, you know, our ode to not wearing underwear when you get out of cars and that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the real Young Wild things, you know? Yeah, That's it's true. It's kind of funny. Now, in addition to the, on the tour, you also have it on your website, you know, and you guys are actually characters, like, like in the book. Who, um, who, who's drawing them? Rob Doby. Yeah, Rob, Rob Doby. Doby. Yeah, Rob Doby. Doby. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. And he's a, he's a friend of yours. He's been doing it for yeah, a long he's time. Also, yeah, he's been with us for a long yeah, time, too. Yeah, so. he's just like a really good graphic artist and artist in general. That's great. Now, Patrick, I heard that, uh, that you're starting to produce for, for, other, for other artists as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's, um, so I did just do the uh, uh, Cobra Starship record, um, nice. working on the new Gym Class Heroes record when we're out on that tour. So that's going to be... Oh, that's cool. We're, we're going to be working on that, like, on the road. And then, um, and then, uh... The cab and this kid Tiger, who's amazing. So, wow! Yeah. So look out for that, everybody. That's that's cool. Yeah. And Joe, you just had a birthday. I did. Yeah. Have a birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank so you. and it's over though. It's over. It's yeah. over. We, we're having the bar mitzvah this year, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this, this month, actually, right? Just turned 13. Yeah. So <laughs> pretty good. But that date is actually going down in history now. September 1st, um, AP Magazine said it was like this. You know, you're on the list for this day in history. Oh, nice. How did that feel? With, with uh, Gloria Estefan and, and Dr. Phil. I'm going to call them. Associated I'm, Press. I'm going to call them. We're going to start like a kind of like Skull and Bones kind of club together for <laughs> September 1st. It's going to be really cool. All right, cool, cool. Well, let's change gears for a second and revisit some old times with Fallout Boy. A while back, these guys were kind enough to give Fuse a tour of their hometown, Wilmette, Illinois. Everything from a secret show with the Academy is to Wilmette. picking up groceries with Pete's mom. Cool. Ooh. In case you missed it, here's some fun moments. Wow. Check out that timing. Could only be our drummer, hey. Andy Hurley. What's going on? <laughs> Best friends forever. <laughs> so my mom asked me for 20, like, promo pictures every time I leave for tour. She asked me today for our manager's number to call him to get him. I'm just like, you know, God don't ask you for stuff from your job. Uh-oh. There she is. Mrs. Wentz. Hi, Mom. We're filming with Fuse right now. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You'll straight up know someone in high school, and, like, you come back from being minor league famous or whatever, and, like, they totally forget that and are just stoked on your band or whatever. Like, I come, like, I was at Dunkin' Donuts yesterday, and, like, 
and like I'm sitting there and these kids walk over for an autograph. I'm like, dude, I know you, man. That's insane. I'd say a good half of the amount of time that Fall Out Boy spends together is like either quoting 80s movies like Jay Z lyrics or like referencing metal bands. Maggots, Michael. Feed maggots. How do they <laughs> taste? I think he's cooking garbage. <laughs> Cool. Very I, funny stuff. Did it feel good to go and get back on the time? No, it's, it's weird too because uh, especially, you know, uh, now touring so much internationally, you don't get to go home as yeah. much. So. so it just feels that much better. Now we got some of the biggest Fallout Boy fans we could find here in the studio today, right? And then we got some questions for the van. Holly, who you got up there? Well, I'm here with Linda. And Linda, what's your question for the van? Um, hi, with all your, you know, well earned success. I was just wondering, um, what day, what day in your life, personal, professional, would you like to relive? Wow, deep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that one day when I was in Punxsutawney and I was covering the Groundhog um, coming out, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you, stumped, you stumped the band. Uh, I'd really like to relive that. Um, that day those pictures leaked on the internet, you know, just was my, my own kind of personal hell over and over again. Maybe the night before I'd actually just like to kill myself. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Killing yourself, Aww. that's Those cute. That. <laughs> all right, our next question is from Gina. This question is for Joe. Um, all right. we, all know that, <laughs> we all know that Pete writes the lyrics, and um, what is your, like, your favorite lyric that Pete ever wrote? Hmm, favorite lyric. Joe, Joe, he's a man. Joe, Joe, he's a man. If he can do it, let's. Like, <laughs> Joe, yeah! I don't know. I, I, um, I love a lot of lyrics. There's, there's a lot of lyrics that end up like not making it in, which are more brutal than anyone can handle. And Pete always tells them to me before, uh, before they get cut, and those are usually my favorites. Oh, definitely. There's a, there, there, there's a specific one I don't think I can say actually on TV. <laughs> Something about freeze-dried. Something about freeze-dried, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, our last question comes from Yuha. Um, do you get stage fright? And if you do, how do you deal with it? Um, do you get stage fright? <laughs> do I? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I That's actually... Right. <laughs> say. I think... I think we're actually going on a stage and we kind of just be like, oh, this has never happened yeah. to us. I'm sorry. I swear to God, we're usually way better. You know, it's like the same thing you say to a girl, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he thought he knew everything there was to know about Fallout. But you guys, thanks so much for the questions. They were really good. Thanks, we got to take another quick break. When the sauce returns, Fallout Boy takes the stage again. So don't go anywhere. This special edition of the sauce is just getting started. Good job, guys. Thank <laughs> you.